Welcome back! So we're going to look at the empathy map. And this is something you normally do after your interviews. And the first thing you look at is, you know, what did they say? This is when you start doing a little bit of analysis. What did people tell you during the interview? Is there anything that they said to you that stood out as particularly interesting? Right? This is basically, been metaphorically, you're taking your highlighter and actually highlighting through your interviews and focusing on certain key concepts and themes. What did they do when they were talking to you? And what did they do you know, when you're actually observing them? Like, let's say that um, you're at the coffee shop and you're talking to you know, some customers about the coffee and they're drinking it and yuck. You know, they make a face like it's bad coffee, right? They may not say the coffee is terrible, but you, know, you can see by their face that they're, that something is a little bit off, right? Um, you know, what are they doing? Like, let's say they're in a chair and they're fidgeting the whole time. Well, maybe they're uncomfortable in the chair. Maybe you need more comfortable chairs, right? What do they think? What do you think that they're thinking? You know, do they seem enthusiastic when you're talking to them about certain things? Do they seem down when they're, they're talking about certain things? This is when you're trying to get in their mind, right? What do you think that they were thinking? And then you talk about what do they feel? Like, how do you think they feel about certain concepts or questions? When you ask them, like, do they tense up? Are they not tense? Um, do they look happy? Do they, they look sad? This is when you're trying to get into the mind of your potential customer. Okay? So you'll take, as you're kind of wrapping up your design thinking, you're going to take your interviews, your observations, you're going to put all that together on an empathy map, and that's going to help you focus on whatever it is you need to emphasize in your particular business, whether that's you know, opening a new business and trying something brand new, or if it's revitalizing an existing business. Because, again, you've done almost like an abductive slash inductive kind of reasoning. You've gone in with a wide aperture, you know, no biases, no plans, and just seeing what's what. And then you've started you know, kind of testing and experimenting and then kind of taking it from there. So that's the basics of design thinking in a nutshell. There's way more to talk about, and I'll probably make some more playlists later on it. But this is the very, very basic stuff. As always, if you've liked this playlist and this video, hit the like button, that's a thumbs up. Definitely hit that subscribe button and comment down below. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next playlist.